rookie season in the backfield at 40. Takes the handoff from Bortles, and he is hit for a loss. P.J. Goodson, the first giant, in on the tackle. For reception from midfield, Bortles swings it out. This is Corey Grant. And Grant gets rolled up. Off the fake to Fournette. Bortles throws, and it's incomplete. He was looking for D.D. Westbrook. That's for the Jaguars. Three receivers set. This is Fournette. A couple playoffs last year. Play clock winding down, third down and eight. As Bortles throws, and that's broken up by Eli Apple. Good play. It's tough to get to that point if you want to get back, but this team has enough, I think. Bortles hit, and down he goes. Back at the 38 yard line, met initially by the former Arizona Cardinal, Kareem Martin. They line Kareem Martin up in the middle. He's, he's going to be right there. It just wins right off the line of scrimmage on your high-paid left guard, Andrew Norwell. Beats him with speed, gets into the backfield, and there's just nowhere for Blake Bortles to go with this football. Now, this defense, in my mind, got a lot better by switching schemes. You know, I think they could be dangerous this year. No, Olivier Vernon out today due to injury. As Janoris Jenkins made the catch, he stayed in bounds for the interception. What a play! I mean, wow. Check the footwork on this interception. Jack Rabbit doing what he does best, maybe taking the ball away. Make it a game of attrition in a run game. Empty backfield, second down and six as Bortles wants to take off. And he's down after a short game. Could have been a face mask here. This is one thing that Blake Bortles does really well. First option's not there sometimes. Daniel Hackett says, look, take it and run. We know how good of an athlete he is. Yeah, they missed one there. There's a little bit of a graze. We know how good of an athlete he is. For Blake for that first down pickup. Hornet back on the field. Quick out to D.D. Westbrook. And he's good hard. Knocked out of bounds at the 45-yard line by... Norris Jenkins. Much like that Jaguars defense, this is what you want out of this Giants defense. Guys swarming to the ball, flying all over the place. It's the tenant, really, of a James Betcher defense. Play hard, play fast, obviously play smart, play physical. Heard it. Three of four on third down. As Yeldon is bottled up. Well, they're such a good third down team. The team that say you're the best player, but. Fournette back out on the field. Yeah, just a great job here up front. Winning the line of scrimmage. Kerry Wynn taking his opportunity to get in the backfield, making a nice tackle on yes. a big back. Literally winning the line <laughs> of scrimmage. <laughs> Kerry Wynn. I see what you did there, Kenny. Champs, Eagles, and the Jaguars top two in red zone touchdown percentage last season. As Bortles throws, nearly picked off and then nearly caught wow. by Niles Paul. So first Jenkins, Paul had an opportunity in the end zone. Here's Janoris Jenkins watching him get a little greedy with his eyes, but finds the covers. He jumps it perfectly. I would expect Janoris Jenkins to make that play. And then Niles Paul just juggling it for about 10 seconds, it seemed like. Oh, this opportunity. We're down at 19. Bortles dumps it off to Fournette. And another good job by the swarming defensive unit of the Giants, led by Ray Ray Armstrong. Went to the AFC Championship game for losing to the Patriots. As Yeldon is bottled up, Alec Ogletree. As Bortles is hit, lost the football, but it is ruled an incomplete pass. After the play was over. It's been a little chippy all day today, hasn't it, Kenny? Started the first series. Guys rustling with each other. It's still going on on the football field. John Jenkins along the D-line. Second down and three. Bortles backpedaling. He was under extreme pressure from Dalvin Tomlinson. And see two running backs in the in the game right here. And every Almost every time it's a screen. It's some type of trick them. We get some motion, misdirection. Look at my right hand, but I'm going to throw it to my left type of play. 
The Giants are obviously all on it. Pick it up. Bortles throws on third down, and it was behind the intended receiver, Dante Moncrief. Second down at 10. Here's Yeldon. Eight of two. With him in the backfield without Leonard Fournette. Averaging over five yards per carry today. This is Yeldon. Not much this time. As it was wrapped up by Jenkins and Collins. Second down at seven. Play action. Portals backpedaling. And then he throws it away. Third down and seven. Portals steps up. And throws. And the pass is broken up. Eli Apple makes another nice play. Pass was intended for Dante Moncrief. Jaguars sent out the punting unit. Oh. Say what you want to about it, 2017, Eli Apple is balling today. This coverage is perfect. Not only is he getting to a look and lean situation, he has to turn back, find the ball, play through the receiver's hands. That is a fantastic execution by Eli Apple. The defense on the sidelines will protect the football here. Second down at six, T.J. Yeldon, and he is tackled by the impressive rookie, B.J. Hill. Third round pick out of North Carolina State. Well, we spoke to James Petra, the Giants defensive coordinator. He said DJ Hill is the most ready-made rookie he's ever been around. Well, you come in and start in this defense as an inside defensive end in that 3-4 set. You've got to be a stud. You've got to be stout. You've got to be able to run through blockers and make plays. And people might be hankering, and that's a horse collar tackle. But I think he was enough on the side not to be. Jaguars open for their last five on third down. And as that pass was knocked down by the veteran, Connor Barwin, his first game as a Giant, the former Texan, Eagle, and Ram. On that run, feeding off into the defense. Car Connor Barwin, haven't mentioned his name yet. Yes, first year here. Year AFC Championship game. Second down and three. As Yeldon gets wrapped up. And we, as we mentioned that, now you've got a crucial third down for this Jaguars offense. And this is Snacks Harrison right in the middle of your screen, but he just overpowering, going through a double team block and getting on the angles of TJ Yeldon to stop them short. Bortles takes the handoff to Yeldon. Under pressure in his corner, who makes the play. The young Lorenzo Card had a great preseason, Kenny. He watched a couple of their games and don't know if he's ready to be a superstar yet. He's not Olivier Vernon, but he has the dimensions. He's long, he's tall, he's athletic as crap. He's awesome to watch play. And that's a nice ball aware deflection for the young rookie. Picked up the momentum that they've gained. See if they can get off the field here and give them a chance to win. Second and ten. Pass deflected away from Yeldon. And then a diving attempt by Landon Collins. Giants here. Gonna blitz. Jaguars must get to the 46. Pressure on Bortles. Catch is made by Safari and Jenkins, but Landon Collins brings him down, forcing the sixth punt. All over the field, you see him. You know, we, we used to chart loafs on our defense, and one of the things that got you a loaf was getting passed up by a fellow teammate. On first down, it's Yeldon. Trying to trick you on third down. Here's Yeldon. Giants will now use their final timeout. Third down and six. They keep it on the ground with Yeldon. So the Giants defense does what they needed to do. 